I'm Kasper Drozdowski, I'm from Torony, Poland. I'm a freshman in computer science and I'm an international master. Okay, okay my name is Kasper Drozdowski, I'm an international master from Poland. Today I'm going to show a game I played against Anton Huyaro David, and that's, that's a game I played in 2012 in, during World Championships, uh, which was one of my better tournaments in my life. And this game is an example of how you can actually win against Grandmaster as a black, just simply by outplaying him. <laughs> okay, so I'll start the game. Well, first of all, okay, a bit of introduction. Uh, that was the 10th round of the tournament. We are both at six and a half out of nine. So winning the last two games meaning meant uh, finishing a top two or top three. So of course we both had to win the game. So that's the opening choice already surprised me because I was expecting something more, like more sharp, just probably E4 in, on the first move. Uh, however, he just decided to, to go out of theory and just try to outplay me just because he's a stronger player. So he played this setup D4, knight F3, bishop G5. So that was already end of theory for both of us, probably. Okay, so white is choosing a, well, a, such a silent setup, but it's not easy to play against it, mostly because while there are no weaknesses, there's, well, it's hard to say what to plan to choose as a black. Okay, so that's all, so far it's all theory. B3, C5, C3, queen B6, rook B1. In bishop g4, well, that was my idea. Mostly, most to play knight c6 and then try to play e5 some, in some way, like maybe knight c6, rook e8, and e5. However, I, well, I already had my own idea for the whole game, so I simply exchanged the bishop, which, well, doesn't seem so strong at the beginning, so I do want to give up bishop pair. Well, well, I, 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 I thought that the, the bishop will the white squared bishop will become weak in the tender game, so it's better to exchange it for the knight, well, which turned out true. Okay, knight f3, knight 6 castle. Well, here there, there was also some games played in this position, but everybody played rook e8 and e5 next move. Okay, I played, uh, okay, rook e8 before, and uh, I didn't play, as, okay, I didn't, um, maybe I could take on b4, maybe play a6 and and then e5 or something like that. I decided to choose a different plan, c4, bishop c2, and not e5 now, but a5. Well, the idea of, okay, that's the whole plan. I'm trying to make just one weakness on the on the queen side because I know I'm not going to do anything on the king side. Well, if I play e5, then, well, I only have a weakness on d5. So my only plan is make is making a weakness for on b5 for him, and then trying to attack. So after b5, knight b8, he should have played a4. Well, just, so I don't have this plan. However, he he would wanted to quickly push e4 by knight d2, okay, knight d7, f4. This doesn't remove that really surprised me, because, well, it looked like he was playing knight d2, intending e4, and suddenly he changed to f4. Which is, well, it's defending against e5, which I wasn't intending to play at all. So I didn't really understand the move. But, uh, well, I guess that he's um, well, a stronger player, so he has some plan uh, that I don't see. Okay, I played a4. Of course, if, if white takes, bishop takes a4, I have queen a5, and c4, c3 pawn is hanging, so he can't take that. So this way I made a weakness on b5, which will, will in longer time will, uh, in the longer term will decide the game, as we'll see later. Okay, he played queen e2, and of course a3. And here you have to, sorry? You made that weak while, of course a2. Man, you can't play with b2, rook b1. I mean, wh what else? I mean, the, I don't want him to play a3, then rook b4 and take my pawn on a4. That's well. That's his idea, I guess. I mean, if you play a four, then a three is a little logical follow up. Okay, here again, I was expecting e four, which of course the engine suggest suggests e four with a small advantage for white. However, he chose to pl such a plan: bishop h four. Well, the idea is queen a five, bishop e one, so I can take on c three. 
And well, I can now see that he's planning a kingside attack by g4 and g5. I simply return to queen c7, g4, e6, and g5. Well, I think this was, st still, it was still better to play e4 at this point. Maybe g4 wasn't like, I mean, playing g4 and e4 isn't like the best choice, but it's still better than what he played in the game. Because actually after, well, that surprised me as well. After g5, knight h5, the engine says that I'm already better here, which probably he wasn't aware of, and I also wasn't aware of. <laughs> okay, he played knight f3, knight b6. I want to play knight a4, maybe knight b2, then rook a5, take on b5. And I'm hoping that there is no checkmate on the king side. Okay, knight e5. Okay, here I decided to change my plan to actually go with the knight to f5 or e4. Queen g2, and here that's an important move, bishop h8, because the threat was bishop d1 and taking on h5. Uh, this was probably a move that he didn't notice because he fought for quite a long time here, trying to think of some plan, probably. He played bishop d1 anyways, knight g7, h4, knight d6. Okay, h5, well, he has... Why, why not bishop f8? Because he has something like bishop d1, knight g7, and knight g4, and knight f6 next move. And when the bishop is on a8, I can simply play knight f5 and knight f6 checks. It's not a threat. This is, well, this is probably the only move here. If I don't want him just to take on h5. Okay, h5, well, he has also no choice. He has to follow his plan. Knight f3, and, well, that's an important move. Of course, you don't want to get rid of the bishop and, like, leave him, like, okay, and leave all weak black squares, but, well, I could actually count that there's no checkmate here, there are really no threats, and after takes e5, knight e4, white has problems with the g5 pawn. I just threaten queen e7 and that's really hard to say what he can play. He played bishop ct, c2. The idea is just to take on e4 when I play queen e7, but there was probably nothing better. Okay, queen d8. Okay, the idea of queen d8 instead of queen d7 is to play queen d5 later and defend the e4 pawn. That's what we played in the game. And, well, here probably white was slowly realizing that there's no checkmate here and Okay, my next moves are probably, well, if, if white doesn't do anything on the king's side, I'll just play b b6, rook a5, and take on b5. And he was also running short of time already, running out of time. So he had to, so he didn't really have much time to think of some defense. He played rook b4, b6, queen e2, trying to attack the c4 pawn, so I have to defend something myself and so I can take his pawn. Okay, rook e c8, queen c2 now. Rook e5, queen b1. Well, of course, that was a very passive plan, and we can see that generally white's plan was a failure, and he hasn't, he hasn't achieved anything. Well, the question now is um, just how to win the game as black. So my plan is now rook c8, exchanging the b4 rook and taking the b4, b5 pawn of the second rook. I keep on king f2, because there's just nothing better. Rook a4, rook h1. Rook, b, rook takes on b4, she takes on b4. Well, here we both had like just a few minutes left. So he was probably hoping just to play bishop c3 next move and just hold the draw. So I played the only move I could to actually play here, c3. Well, I didn't really need to count much because I can see that I'm not risking anything even Okay, in the worst case, there will be just nothing that we get a draw. And if I just take on, I mean, if I just take on b5 somehow, then he'll just, he can play bishop c3 and yeah, just maybe even play h6 and hold to a draw. So I played c3 and it turns out that the position is actually already won for me. In bishop c3, there's, of course, there's no other choice. Rook c8. Okay, now we, we both 
had 30 minutes added, and uh, he, my opponent fought for quite a long time, but he realized that he's already lost. He has no choice here, bishop d2. And there's one more important move, g takes on h5, which gives me just because I can, white can always somehow, somehow block himself on the queen side. So this way I open the king side and I can even, I even have some plan like king g7, king g6 if there's nothing on the queen side. Okay, he took on h5 and queen c4. It's now, I don't need to lose time on, for taking on b5. So, okay, now queen c2 is a threat and there's no good defense. He played. Rook h1, queen c2, rook d1, that's the only moves. And here I, I could already calculate that the ending is 1 for me. Queen takes on b1, rook takes on b1, rook c2, king e1, rook takes on e2, d5. Well, he finally gets active, but it's already <laughs> too late. I have enough time to calculate everything. d5, he takes on d5. Okay, rook c1, rook b2. There are, of course, some threats like rook c8, e6, and bishop c3, but even if it takes the b rook on b2, I have e I takes b2, and well, there's no defense against promotion. So rook c8, king g7. After e6, I can simply take on, take on e6, and bishop c3, c3, king g6, takes on b2, takes on b2, and I won. Okay, so he played bishop c3, d4, here same, he, he, he can't take on b2, he takes on d4, rook c2, and there's now no good defense against a2. He played a2, bishop a1, rook h2, rook c1, e3. Uh, and so then it turns out that he is actually getting checkmated here. He can defend against promotion, but he can't defend against checkmate. I played king d1. Rook d2, king e1, and knight h4, that's mate, next move. He resigned. Okay, so, well, to summarize, well, first of all, he played like uh, an unknown, not popular opening, trying to outplay me, mostly by not giving me any chance for any counter attack and just simply attacking my, me on the king side. However, he didn't realize that he should play b5 and a4 on the queen side to just defend his pawns and then try to attack on the king side. He allowed me to create one weakness on b5, which actually decided the game because I could break through on the queen side. And all of, all of his attacks on the king side turned out just a, they didn't turn out dangerous for me. And then his bishop pair was not much use in the, in such a cold position. We can now see the bishop on the a1, which is just, not doing anything and it didn't do anything for the whole game. Okay, so I guess that's all. Thank you. And any questions? Instead of uh, please go away. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we can. Why is that already? I mean, we we know who has some great suggestions, but can we just see what had happened if White had played? Okay, what had uh, why could play e4 for like three or four moves? So when we can tell me when exactly. I guess f4 was the move where white really sort of went off track, right? Yeah, I think around the f4 is something is just a wrong plan. I and mean, white was hoping that there will be some attack on the king's side and yeah, well, so we saw there was no attack. Some of these okay, e4. I take I take on e4. Okay. Well we have a choice between knight e4. Okay, let's try it first. I can think I can play knight d5, and we can already see that what White played earlier before in b5 was well. This was not, wasn't a great plan because now c3 is hanging in many lines. Well, the the position is roughly equal. Well, it's hard to find some forced lines here. I can play I know queen f3 maybe. I know I have many moves here maybe queen c7 to defend the pawn. I mean, there's okay. There's no advantage for any of the sides, I guess. But of course, it was better for White than what he played in the game because, I mean, when the position opens up a bit more, he, his bishop pair can be just strong. Okay. So why did you play 
like just for the video to play E5 and C4 points? Well, I'm not sure if I want to play E5 because, as I said, then that open up the position even more. So maybe I just no. My my knight can be D5 is quite strong, and if, when I play E5, he takes on E5. He can play Rook D1, and the knight will be hanging. Maybe I can also try to play something like A4, A3 again. Make some weaknesses here. Well, it's hard to play. It's just an equal position, and it will just play on. He will also take on c4, I think, but yeah, after queen c7, the c3 pawn is hanging again, so he can't, well, he doesn't really have a good move here, like queen to rook c8 and is hanging again, b3, b3, a4, so that's also good for me. Yeah, but of course, e4 was better, just take, play e4, take on e4, and just hope that the position will open up soon. So you had some questions, I guess. I finished seventh. I'm, I'll, I had the draw in the, la in the last one. But I shot from third or fourth to seventh, and I had the last. No, you had less. I was the last. I had seventh, and I lost because of the rating. Before. I shot from third to eighth, I think. You had, you had a half a point less. I had to win the last one to be third. It was uh, Świerc, I think, from Poland. Corey was second, I think, and then it was... I think I should have played that one. I could have easily won. Right? I didn't hear you. No, 2012? Oh, my God. No, but it was in 10, I should have played in Poland. Where was it? In 10? Yeah. I should have played in 10. Well, you should have. Yeah, I should have. Yeah. Did you play there? Yeah. Yeah, you did. I did. Yeah. Jesus, I did. 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 I did